Hello Retro Gaming Maniacs, welcome to another episode of It's Atari 800 XL Time and today I like to play the game Qbert, an absolute arcade classic and I have it complete in box, that's what it somehow looks like, yeah, it's a bit, uh, yeah, transparent because of the green screen but it's complete in box and it comes with the manual and with an important note it says the colors seen on your tv that may not be identical to those shown in this booklet this is due to the type of tv recall uh, receiver used and does not mean your cartridge is faulty and then we have a sort of an answering card i would like to join the parker video games club Yes, of course. System owned Atari 2600, check. Intellivision, no. Philips G7000, no. ColecoVision, no. And Atari 5200, no. Send this to Parker Video Games Club, 28 Newman Street, London, England. United Kingdom postage will be paid by license. Answering card. And then, of course, we have the manual, the instructions. And uh, in case you would like to know the name of the opponents that we have to advise. Oh, and they also give the advice to uh, put the joystick in uh, this something uh, yeah, diamond shaped position with the fire button up uh, to go to the right directions while jumping um, on the pyramid. So what do we have here? Red ball. When the red ball starts rolling Qbert out of its get Qbert out of its path or it will squash him. If it is, this happens, the next Qbert will appear on the cube where the last one has squashed. Purple ball poses the same kind of danger as red ball, except that when purple ball reaches the bottom of the pyramid, it hatches coyly the snake. Coily, he is the snake with the perilous pounds. The only way to get rid of Coily is to lure him off the pyramid by hopping on a flying disc. Hop Cubert onto the exit cube. There is only one correct exit cube for each flying disc. Aha. Then as soon as Coily approaches the exit cube, hop Cubert aboard the flying disc. Flying discs. When Qbert's in trouble, he can board a flying disc that will whisk him off to safety at the top of the pyramid. The number of discs and their placement to the sides of the pyramid will differ, depending on the level and round. Just make Qbert board the flying disc from the correct exit cube or else he'll fall off the pyramid. Then we have Ugg. Ugg appears on the lower portion of the pyramid and travels sideways and upwards, ready to jump on Qbert. If he does, the next Qbert will appear on the cube where the last one was jumped. Normally I'm so bad I never got to see him. <laughs> also with the next two. Slick. Slick can't catch Qbert, but he changes the cube's colors, so Qbert's got to retrace his tracks. If Qbert stops him, however, by running into him, you will earn bonus points. Okay. Green Ball. Green Ball can't catch Qbert either, but if Qbert catches Green Ball, all the characters except Qbert freeze for a moment. Qbert can continue to hop and you will earn bonus points. Okay. So, and then we have different uh, levels and so on. And then here we have the cartridge in the box. There it is. And it's in a really good condition. And uh, yeah, I have loaded the game in my, uh, with my subcard. So I don't need to swap the cartridges every time. And uh, to stress the uh, cartridge port uh, on the Atari 800XL. Oh, this is the wrong way. Wrong way round. Uh, so it has to go that way. So, okay. And now I switch over to fail a little round of Qbert. Never played this version yet. So I wonder how this plays and what this uh, looks like. So I have to put it this shape somewhere, somehow. And then the directions may be the right ones. Let's see if this is so. 
Select or start game. Yeah, just press start, I would say. Let's fail a bit. Let's see if this uh, is correct now. Down. Yeah. This is strange. I guess I will do it the way I I always played this. And um, the top of the pyramid, indeed, oh, pause, uh, is a safe spot. Normally, nothing goes there. And so I am safe for a moment. Let's see if I can complete it this way. Yeah, this is easier to me. So cleared round number one. Okay, let's go to number level two. Round two. Fight. <laughs> and I like it. That, 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 that was close. Huh. Okay. Jump down. Let's try to complete this pyramid. That looks promising. Yes! Finished it! This is a really all-time classic. Uh, swearing. Yeah, it's a bit irritating. That nasty guy. Ah. The good thing is I don't have to start from the very beginning. When I lose a life. Nice one. Still today, I also love the Atari 2600 version. But I like the bold colors here. This is really an old time favorite and classic. Normally I'm not that good at uh, playing this one. As I demonstrate perfectly here. But I have been worse. Yeah, this is still level one and round four. So I wonder how many rounds are there. Aha, what happens now? Ah, now it's level two. Okay. So level one had four rounds. Oh, the discs have another. Po ah, now I have to uh, run over this twice. Ah, and this nasty thing. Ah. Turns the colors back. Yeah, now I have to take care uh, of so much more here. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is getting really harder now. Oh, that nasty guy. Hey, I got stuck. Game over. So that was short. But a nice game, uh, definitely. And um, one worth playing and trying out. And I hope you had some fun watching this little video uh, as I had fun playing this. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye till then. You are Tomaniac.